Hello, welcome to Wild Finds, where I search thrift stores for media items, including music, movies, video games, whatever I can find. What do we got here? Thrift store I've never been to before. Thrift store kitties. Not only do they have cute little kitties, they got big old spiders. Ah! So they got a pretty decent selection of VHS and DVDs. Found this right here. Of course, it's a bootleg because this was never released in the United States on DVD. Found this VHS carnivore. Looks like it's most likely cheesy, but I think I'll check it out for 75 cents. I haven't seen Fletch in forever, so I'll grab that one. Hiding Out. This is a pretty obscure movie, so I'll grab that. He's wanted by the FBI, so he goes back to high school. John Cryer, yeah. Patrick Swayze movie that's kind of obscure, Fatherhood, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The newer one. I call it new even though it's like 20 years old. They got this obscure movie starring Robert England, Gunther, and the Paper Brigade. Weird. At the next thrift shop here, they have this DVD. Claims to be over a $700 value. Yeah, I'm sure. They do have CDs here, four for a dollar. I think I'll grab these jazz ones. Think I can do okay on those. And right down the street, we have another thrift store. Yeah. <laughs> so they also have their CDs for four for a dollar and mixed in with the CDs were these PlayStation 1 games. Heck yeah. This game is actually a lot of fun. And this looks like it would be pretty cool too. I also like Pipe Dreams. The game Bioshock basically has this as a mini game. Making this kind of obsolete, but still pretty cool. I don't anyone cares about this guy, Bob Snyder, but it is autographed. They have a children's CD section and in the children's section is the full Monty. For a dollar, you can get this cassette cube. Oh wow, they have even more that I overlooked. I don't think I have round two. Sweet. Nice. Four for a dollar. PlayStation games really can't beat that. Heck yeah. There's actually a bunch of cool stuff on this little strip across the street from these two thrift stores is an antique and collectible store. DVDs, two dollars each or ten for fifteen. I might be the only person who actually kind of liked this movie. It's the second Silent Hill. I saw both Silent Hills in the theater and the first one's really good and I was even entertained by this one. I already own Wanderlust but I highly recommend this hilarious movie. I think I'm gonna grab this though, Troll Hunter. I've never seen it and for two bucks, yay. So at the next thrift store, found a couple things. This movie, Journey of Natty Gain. Never heard of this before. John Cusack. Uh, interesting right there. I'll buy that for 50 cents. And found this bag of toys. This was only $1. And it's a bunch of junk. Except it has this Expedition Everest Disney toy in it. That's pretty cool right there. Heck yeah. I have no need for the rest of these toys right here. Hello, I would like to donate these. Okay, thank you. Here at the Goodwill, I found this one right here. It sells for a little bit against all odds. Israel survives. A lot of times it's not very interesting movies that actually have resale value. Funny enough, I found this one called Bikini Airwaves, but the DVD isn't in there. And you know some creepy guy wanted to watch this, but he didn't want to be judged by the cashier. So we probably put the disc in a case like this, Stuart Little. It's unfortunate it's not in there. That would be like a $40 one. Let's see what they got in this Dollar Tree. This is their DVD section. That's kind of disappointing. They do have a couple of good movies at least. So back at this thrift store, which was pretty good last time, but has a weird name, Sheriff's Ranches. What do they come up with next? Police officers, blue cheese. 
Only found a few things at this thrift store, this grease DVD with a leather jacket. Nice. And Magnum PI, complete fifth season for three bucks. Not a bad deal on that right there. Kind of hard to find. What's the deal with these hats? Wonder if this is collectible Rush Limbaugh. In the next thrift store here, it's a huge building. It's kind of weird. They don't have too much, but they do have Dream A Little Dream 2. And sometimes that's all you need. So in this plaza right there, they have an Ollie's, which is kind of an obscure store. They have them in Rhode Island and they have them here in Florida. And then this is funny, Dollar Tree, but it's coming soon. Although it looks like it was open and then they closed and are just totally gutting it and renovating it. This is like a little behind the scenes tour of a future Dollar Tree. Whoa! I can't see when I'm filming. Hopefully it's exciting. Of course it started raining. That's a crappy thing about Florida. It rains almost every day in August. But look, I found this Superstore Video News. A whole store dedicated. I'm not sure if these are like rentals or if you can buy them. Hello. Very good. Is this a rental store or a, you for purchase? purchase? Purchase. Cool. Thank you. Interesting. He said for purchase, but they do have rentals. You can rent Fat Man for five days. Freaky. That's actually a pretty good movie right there. Nice. Wow, I haven't been in a video store that rents things, even though they say they don't rent uh, in a long time. Yes, so some are for sale and then some are for rental. They have a pretty big horror section here. For sale, they have a $2 section. Not too bad. Here is a $4 section. And now something would have to be pretty obscure for me to pick it up for four dollars used. And over here are newer movies for $7.95. Mandy, you don't find that in the wild very often. In the new releases they have this, which is a new movie. But then they kind of just have like Dollar Tree movies. Imagine renting a Dollar Tree movie. <laughs> I popped into this Dollar Tree and they already did a DVD drop, but they put out more, surprisingly, and I found Glass, Hardcore Henry, True Believer. Uh, I've already seen all these movies. I actually already bought this one on DVD, so I don't need these. I have this on VHS, so don't need that. But yeah, all these three are good, so pretty cool. They also have Night School, and this is a halfway decent movie right here. Whatever this is, I'm not really sure. I heard this was awful. Uh, so not gonna grab this, but kind of interesting. They have a Jacob's Ladder remake Exorcist the beginning. I can assume that's not very good Beowulf. I think this is a TV show. Not really sure what that's all about. Yeah, TV series These two right here This looks really cheesy. I'm sure it's not great Every so often I find these German DVDs. This is a musical group Alex Rudy Pell live on fire and this actually resells for a decent amount, maybe like 15 bucks or so. So it's weird how Dollar Tree gets German ones every so often. So, yep, I'm gonna buy that one. And I'll buy this one to watch. It looks halfway decent. Okay, so no one's standing over here now. Uh, halfway decent looking section here. I found this action point. And this is a pretty good movie, Johnny Knoxville. It's like Jackass, but at an amusement park. I do feel it could have been way better. It had uh, potential it kind of didn't live up to, uh, but still worth uh, buying for a dollar. 25, yeah. They also have this, I'm not really familiar with this movie. Here at Hope Thrift, yeah. They got these dreadful bins here that I always complain about. I was gonna give a heck yeah because I found Jack Frost but the tape is warped. They got shocker, but this shouldn't come as a shocker. It has mold. Another movie with mold. This is actually halfway decent, but as you can see, no good. Angler 2, this one isn't too bad. A lot of these early 2000 horror movies though aren't worth very much and aren't very good. 
Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Good. So I have a weird request here. Would you take a dollar for this stack of movies only because they're all like damaged, like moldy and like see like this one is like melted and stuff. Yeah, this one. Cool. Plus Appreciate cast, that. Of course. Yeah. Heck yeah, that guy was cool. One dollar for all the moldy broken tapes. You can clean the mold if you open up a VCR and you use like Q-tips and rubbing alcohol. I really don't feel like doing that. You can even fix that like broken one. Possibly if you do like a shell swap, don't feel like doing that either. I'll probably throw these online and try to get like $15 with free shipping. So, you know, not a ton of money, but uh, glad to find them for $1. Yeah. At the next spot, another Hope Thrift. I digged through these bins as best as I could. Pulled out these for resale. Hitler's Bodyguard, New Tricks, Season 6. They got some Disney records here. Uncle Remus, Breer Rabbit. Uncle Remus, he hasn't been around in a long time in Disney. And Breer Rabbit, they're about to shut down the Splash Mountain ride at Magic Kingdom. And these will probably go up in value. Yeah, I see, I see. That's going to do it for this video, though. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time around. Yeah.